Tech One Kaldari frigates. Okay, so now if I go to type over here, it says Bantam, Condor, Griffin, Heron, Kestrel, Merlin. Now if I change one little thing here and go to Galente, that whole list should change now to Atron, Imicus, Incursus, Morlus, Navitas, Tristan. Now if I change to Tech 2, it will be all the Tech 2, Galente, Frigates, Helios, Ishkuk, Keras, Nemesis, etc. G'day everybody, this is Mupu Sega on behalf of Mupu Corp. Here we are, at last, for part six of the job tracking. Now, as it stands, I have actually already recorded the rest of this video. I thought it was very smart by setting a, a hotkey to, to do this, to bring up that formula bar for you guys so that I don't need to do it in post process. The only problem that I realized after doing it is that that same hotkey is to begin and turn off recording so all the parts that I wanted you to see actually the recording stopped so I'm going to very quickly give you a, a brief overview of what was discussed at the beginning of the video ie the concatenate function the whole point of this section of the series is so that we can enter data efficiently by using a concatenate list or a conch list as uh, I have coined the term <laughs> so Ideally, if I'm wanting to enter a whole bunch of condors into this job tracker, I want it to go race, Kaldari, frigate, tech one, um, and I want the list of Kaldari frigates, frigates, tech one, to come up here, okay? Um, and to do that, I need it to have an address for the named range that it is looking for. So as you've, if you've been watching up to this point, you know that a list either looks for for um, entries that you have told it, you say, I want you to be able to enter into this cell X, Y, and Z, all right? Or you can say, I want to, I want to be able to enter into this cell the last three letters of the alphabet. And you go and, you want to go and create a named range called last three letters of the alphabet and, and in each cell below that, it's X, Y, and Z, right? So in this instance, um, we need to set up in the conch list the final address. So I'm going to go here and, oh, here we go. Look at that. Um, so I'm going to go equals, equals concat. Um, text one will be there. Text two will be there. Text three will be there. Finish that up. And straight away, I've got an address for the named range, all right? The named range called Kaldari Frigate I in that address, you will find the uh, a list of um, Tech One frigates, Tech One Kaldari frigates. Okay, so now if I go to type over here, it says Bantam, Condor, Griffin, Heron, Kestrel, Merlin. Now if I change one little thing here and go to Galente, that whole list should change now to Atron, Imicus, Incursus, Morlus, Navitas, Tristan. Now if I change to Tech 2, it will be all the Tech 2, Galente, Frigates, Helios, Ishkuk, Keras, Nemesis, etc. Now all because the actual address, the thing that is the uh, the named range, is, is looking in a different place. You know, it's looking at for Galente, Frigate 2, and it's not looking um, in, in, a, in a static place, right? Now, when it comes to race, this is a static kind of place. Amar, Kaldari, Galente, Mimitar, or Pirate. Um, that list will never change, right? Until we change that list and, 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 and whatever. But, but um, that is not dependent on previous entries on that, that row, okay? Now, one more time, I'll show you where we are heading. So, or, cruiser, Tech 2, there are no ore cruisers, Tech 2. Imagine that. But is there an ore frigate, Tech 2? Yes, the endurance or the prospect. So I guess you will see, you have seen now where we are heading. Hang around to learn how to get there. We need to create a list that is Amar Frigate 1, and it needs to have in it all of the Amar frigates. Okay? Now I'm going to do an example here. A-M-A-R-R 
We get I. No, I, I don't know them off the top of my head, but I'm going to say Magnate, Punisher. Um, going to do terrible. Execution. Alrighty. Now, I'm pretty sure we've, we've done the list in the previous video. So all I'm going to do now is call this named range um, using the formulas tab here and then create from selection, top row, yes. Now I have a list of Amar Frigate 1, right? That doesn't mean that when I come back to the job tracker here that I'm gonna, that this is somehow going to, to know what to input there, right? Because this needs to dynamically refer and look for the list that is con the conch list over here, all right? If I change that, to Kaldari, it needs to look for, for the list that is called Kaldari Frigate I, all right? Let's do that. Let's make one, a Kaldari one here. Kaldari Frigate I. Now, importantly, these has to have no spaces, all right? So it would be a Heron, a Condor, a Kestrel, all right? And, um, I'm going to call that a list. I'm going to go create from selection from the top row like that. Now, if I was doing it statically like we did in the other ones, like the race column, like the class, class column, I would go to data validation, data validation. I would say list and then press <laughs> F3 to bring up the available lists. And because we just created that other one called Amar Frigate Deck 1, it's just there like that. And in that list is gonna be those th those three that we um, put in, a Magnate, a Punisher, and an Executioner. Now that all reads well, right? But what happens when I change this to Kaldari? That list does not change, and an Executioner is not a Tech 1 Kaldari Frigate, right? So what we need is, is this data validation, we need it to look for the named range that refers to the conch list, right? the address essentially has changed. The name range that we are looking for has changed because we have changed these values in here. If it was Galente Frigate 1, we need to look to a name range that is called Galente Frigate I to find the list of Tech 1 Galente Frigates. Now I know that I'm repeating myself so many times here, but it is, it is just so that I can maybe say it in a number of ways. Now I'm gonna remove that data validation there just for any value because we are going to do something new here. All right, so I'm going up the top here to data validation, data validation. Now I'm going to use custom, the formula, no, we're going to list, not custom, sorry, list. And then we're going to put in here a function called indirect. Indirect, um, C2, that is not absolute, indirect C2. So what it's gonna do now, this indirect function, what it's gonna do, it's gonna grab that range and and it's going to to look, look for the range that is, look for the list that has that, that, um, that string as its, um, as its address, as its as its name, the named range that is called that. Wow, I've got terrific words today. The source currently eval evaluates to an error. Do you want to continue? Yes, that is correct. You want to say yes. And now, <coughs> as an ex example here, I'm going to Amar Frigate Tech one, and let's see what comes up here. Magnate, Punisher, Executioner. Terrific. Now, what happens if I change this to Kaldari? Heron, Condor, Kestrel. Let that sink in. Watch it again if you need to, but this is a pretty awesome little thing. Now, if you were to do this manually, we would go back to lists here and we would continue filling this out. We would go Min Mata. Mimita, frigate, I. We would we would bring up Eve Online and we would have our our ship fitting thing there or our um, ship tree and, and one by one we would fill this out. But what I have done for you guys 
is I've taken my lists that I use and I have um, put it on Google Sheets and hopefully more and more I will have more resources there where you can go and um, grab some of the stuff that that I talk about. Maybe we'll end up putting sheets up there. I don't know. It, you know, this whole channel is about teaching you how to how to do it for yourself. But to save you some of the tedium of doing that, having the ship tree open and filling this out one by one, follow the link in the in the comment section. That's going to take you to a Google Sheet, which is going to look something like this. Now, as I get more and more resources, I'm going to start um, filling this little table out. It's got the resource, which is called Ship Conch Lists. It was referenced in, or will be referenced in, by the time you're watching it, Job Tracker Part 6. There will be a link that actually works for, for to take you to that video where you can see that resource in action. But you can either click on um, the tab down the bottom here, and there's our conch lists. Or you can um, click on the little link here by clicking on ship conch lists and going there. And again, that's, I mean, it's just a hyperlink. <laughs> Nothing too wild there. So, so head over there and do that. And I will uh, see you back soon where we can uh, turn all this stuff into conch lists ready for you. Alrighty, guys. Let's do it. Now what you're going to do, this is uh, this is a tedious process somewhat, but I, I hope I've taken some of the, the work out for you. Um, you're going to copy this entire sheet, this entire Google Sheet, by clicking up in the top left hand corner. Copy. And you're going to go to Excel. You're going to go to, now either do it however you like, I don't know, I, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to go there and then I'm going to paste by matching the destination formatting, okay? Obviously don't put it over whatever other resources you've got there. Now that has brought in all the uh, ship types and the ship names and they have been broken down into, into six groups, all right? Amar, Galente, Caldari, Mimita, Or, O-R-E, and also Pirate. Now, on the horizon, I don't know if Triglavian ships will become their own playable race. Um, obviously not up to me, but what is up to me is where I put those uh, those ship names. So, for now, I have, I have addressed them as a pirate faction. Okay, so, um, pirate battleship, tech one, you will see the Lashak. Um, I've made a uh, Tech 2 pirate section because obviously, so Amar, where is it? Uh, pirate, 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 pirate. So we've got Pirate Cruiser here. You've got the Pirate Cruiser 1 wherein you will find the the Rodiva and the Vedmak. And then the Pirate Cruiser 2, you will see the Ikitursa and the Zarmast. Or however you want to say it, I don't know. Um, but let's get back to what we're here for. Before you do this, I need you guys to go to your race column here and add to this. You need to add or, and you need to add pirate, okay? And um, to update that name range, you're gonna select from the bottom to the top. You're gonna go to your formulas tab, create from selection, top row. Replace existing definition of race. Yes. Now when I come to ship manufacture, I have more choices than the four. I also have ore and I also have pirate, right? This is just so that in these conch lists, we, we can actually get to the address because the final address to get to something like a gamma, you would need to actually, so to bring up the list of, sorry, tech one pirate frigates, it, you would need uh, this one here, Pirate Frigate I, which is the Gamma, and you will find your Estero crew or Davovic, Devo, or whatever, everything else in there. Um, so anyway, we fixed that, and just like you uh, updated the, the race uh, named range there, you are going to do this for every one of these other named ranges that we just copied in. Now, 
please note that when we are updating these named ranges, you cannot go like this. You cannot select a whole bunch like that and say formula create from selection top row. That doesn't work. That's going to make that entire square a, um, a named range, which is not what we want. What we actually have to do, we have to select this, hold control, select that, and do this one by one over the entire range of these. And then you go create from selection from the top row. Replace existing definition of Amar frigate, yes. Kaldari frigate, yes. All that kind of stuff. And um, if I was doing it one by one, I would do this. I would select from the bottom of that Amar frigate to the top. I would say create from selection, top row, like that, right? Here, create from selection, yep. Now, as it turns out, I believe that there is 68 of these columns. So this is all the ships in the game. Now, this is, guys, this is just an example of, of doing it for the ships, the ship type. You know, you could just as easily do this for module rather than having pirate frigate tech one, you might have um, projectile, extra large, uh, tech two, and it'll bring up the list of, of whatever. And then, and then that's how you would enter your information if you were manufacturing modules. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to do this. I'll probably speed it up in the, uh, in Premiere Pro so that you don't sit here and watch me make 68 named ranges. But again, once this is done, it's done. Uh, you will be using these lists for forever, I guess. Um, I mean, I guess maybe I'm doing myself, uh, a disservice by by getting you guys all to manufacture ships but the process and the the concept is the same i would appreciate you doing this and going and making modules or rigs or something else okay don't come and rain on my parade anyway i'm gonna speed this up i will see you guys afterwards Alrighty, so that is everything selected. I'm gonna go create from selection top row. Bada boom, it's gonna ask me to replace a whole bunch of existing definitions here because I had already done this once before. So I only need to do it about how many times? 68 times. And that is that. I have all my named ranges. Um, the name manager here, you see all these name uh, ranges in the name manager here, Kaldari Cruiser. These, these, um, they are all ready to go. I'm going to close that. If they bring out, which they absolutely will, bring out more Triglavian ships, I imagine that it's going to be a playable race with their whole kit and caboodle. Who knows? Maybe it's not going to be. But if they did, we could train, we could actually uh, remove the, uh, remove them from the pirate ship column and we would make a brand new one. Uh, we would add the race Triglavians or Triglavian and uh, we would add more addresses for the Triglavian ships. Now, what if they brought out more uh, Tech 1 Amar frigates? All I would do here is I would say, oh, they've brought out a new one. It was called what it's religious the penitent the penitent it is just getting released and now it um that's a new tech one amar frigate right what i would do i would grab that and i would select them again and i would create a new one from selection for just that column all right replace existing definition of amar frigate one to include the penitent yeah but actually it doesn't exist so I'm gonna put that back. Is penitent even a word? Yes, penitent is a word. I I mean, it's about remorse and and, and stuff. I don't know if that would work as a uh, as a ship concept, but I'll leave that up to you guys at CCP. Hey, um, that is that, guys. As a quick little little show you here, in this top thing here. What if I go like this, right? The conch list doesn't change. We could even hide the conch list. I'll leave it there for this one, but let's go. Uh, 
uh, Galente, Battlecruiser, Tech 2, Astarte, or an Eos. Cool. What if I wanted to find uh, a Mackinac? Ooh, I will need to add. Actually, guys, do this with me right now. Go to lists. Um, Kavari Industrial. Do I have Industrial? Yes, I do have Industrial here. So, um, in the ship type here, in the ship type, class frigate, destroyer, cruiser, battleship, battle, battle cruiser, battleship, add in the bottom here, add in Industrial. Um, create a create from selection replace existing definition of class awesome so now or industrial tech to oh it doesn't have it um galente industrial tech 2 ocator or viator yeah cool so the or all products i believe Um, where are they? Or industrial tech one. I haven't added them. <laughs> okay, I will fix that for you guys. I'm going to put in a another class here called barge. Or, or, or minor or something and um, we'll get some new lists set up for that. So, oh, there, or mining, or mining, mining. Oh, you see, it's called mining, okay. So that's what I need, a mining column, a mining address. Now guys, what I did realize is that I didn't have um, any way, any way of getting to something like a Mackinac or a Retriever because I don't have a mining class, yeah? See how this address here is actually or mining uh, um, here. The Coveter and the Noctus Procurer Retriever, these are all in the ore mining category. Now you, you put them wherever you want. I put them in, in this one. So <laughs> to do that, uh, to get access to them, I actually need a uh, mining class. So industrial, under industrial, I will put mining. Again, I am going to create from selection, update that named range. So now ore, and I go down the bottom to mining tech one should give me a list of there we are cover to noctus procure retriever and if I do tech two it gives me a list of hulk mackinaw orca porpoise rawcool and skiff cool so guys that's how it works the only thing that we still need to do here is to copy the data validation so we're going to um, say copy on cell h2 I'm going to select the entire column of H. I'm going to paste special. I'm going to do validation. So paste, validation, okay. And I'm going to select H1. I'm going to get that. I'm going to, to go to uh, data here, data validation, data validation, and I'm going to clear the data validation in cell H1 because obviously it is a header. We don't need any data validation in there. But the rest, if I, if I go down to H23 here, see how I cannot bring up any list because I haven't filled out anything, any of the prerequisites required, i.e. Uh, maybe Galente, Destroyer, Tech 1, gives me... That's, that's fine. <laughs> it's, it's actually because I haven't put this concat list in here. So I'm going to drag that down. Drag that down, drag it all the way down. Um, and now, because the concat list is there, I, I can juice from an Algos or a Catalyst. Let's try one last time. Galente, Battleship, T2. 
tech is there a tech three battleship no there is not a tech two battleship a chronos or a sin Thank you very much for joining me today. So what is actually next for us is to is to start um, making it making it that little bit more pretty. This job code thing. Why is this not dragged down? Let's drag him down too. He's not going down because it hasn't been entered in a month. Right. Okay, back to where we were. Um, that's it for today. Um, hopefully part seven will be coming out. Thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten any value whatsoever out of this, or if you've learned a little bit, give us a like. Um, uh, do the subscribe or whatever. I don't care. If you didn't like it, um, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. Mobile Corp out.